Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Jumping right in, I'm using my Milani 2-in-1 in 0910 and I'm using that as a base for my eyeshadow and yeah, I'm just going to blend that in all over my eye. Next, I'm just placing some tape to make my eyeshadow super sharp and then I'm going to jump into the Crayon Case Box of Crayons palette and the first color that I'm going to use is yellow and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. The next color I'm using is tan and I'm just going to use that to blend out the yellow just so that it won't look so sharp and harsh. I want it nice and blended. <laughs> The next palette I'm using is the Juvia's Place Festival palette and I'm taking that bright orange shade and I'm placing it right in my crease and making sure that it is nice and blended, you guys. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> You're going to see me go back and forth through my brushes, but that's just for the best blend. But jumping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, the controversy. <laughs> I'm going to also place this into my crease, but just a little lower, just for a little cut crease effect to go on. And you guys, really take your time with dark colors. Use a little bit and blend it and build it up from there. After adding that dark blue, I decided to go back in with all of the other colors just a little because I felt like they got lost. And I don't know how many times I have to say blend, but you guys, blend, okay? Blending is fundamental. To cut my crease, I used that same Milani in 0910, and I just followed my natural crease. I didn't over draw my crease this time. And then I went back into my crayon case palette and I used that gold and I just packed it all over my lid. And you guys, it is just so freaking pretty. Ugh, I can't take it. So I went back in with, I believe it's called Untamed from the Anastasia palette just to blend those two colors together. And yeah, I'll leave everything that I used down below in the description box, you guys. Jumping into my skin, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish and my Black Opal Oil Blocking Primer. I love mixing primers. I don't know why, but I just always mix my primers. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Mars All Day Luminous in Macau. I'm just a mess oh. with a thing for you. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in 35 Cafe. I believe that's the name, but again, everything will be in the description box. I'm just going to place that under my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and also my jaw lines. <laughs> That concealer basically blended right into my foundation and I wanted more of a highlight so I went into the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I think this is the shade Honey and I just used that, you know, just to brighten up those areas a little more. To contour, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer in Cappuccino.
Where is Bond? My man Double G. Yeah. Grand D. Mr. Smith got the leg. Next, I'm using my Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Powder to set all of my highlighted areas. To bronze, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. bronzer palette in Bronze Beauty. Y'all already know what's going on right here. I need new blushes, you guys. <laughs> Next, I'm using this ColourPop Pressed Powder in Dark, and I'm going to use that to set my foundation in place. So after setting my face with the Maybelline Master Fix, I'm going to use my Too Faced Highlighter in You Light Up My Life, and I'm just going to go ham. For my lower lash line, I'm just using that bright orange and that dark blue, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I line my lips off camera with the dark brown, and then I'm taking the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Suede, and to top that off, I'm going to be using the Shop Miss A Lip Oil. And that is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.